welcome to Eating with Sophia. And today we're going to be experiencing culture through food, which is really exciting. Can't wait. So today we are trying some food from the Spicy House. And I am really nervous because I don't usually eat spicy food. It kind of scares me. I'm so going to be trying some idea. soup and some fish and some pork as well. So I'm really excited about that. Something surprising about the Chinese culture of food is that it hasn't always been spicy. Some important flavors come from a special sauce. This sauce is called doubanjiang, which is a soybean paste. So it has been marinated for many months, and when it's been cooked, it gives a very deep, rich, umami flavor to the dish. We're gonna start off with the sour radish duck soup. I don't know what to eat. I can feel it numbing my throat. I really like that they have duck in the soup because it um, kind of balances out like the spiciness a little. Like if I drink like some soup and then I get some duck, then it like kind of like balances the flavor so it's not too spicy. Next we're gonna try out the Tongsu braised pork. It's very big. It tastes like bacon dipped in like sauce. Yeah, I think my favorite part would probably be like the bottom, the bottom layer. Just because I really like that it's like solid and like I can chew through it a lot. So our third dish is going to be the Chongqing Kaoyu, which is a grilled fish. Ooh, it's really tender and <laughs> spicy. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> eating it. <laughs> so this is called the Sichuan pepper fish and it's made from the Sichuan pepper corn. So it's supposed to be really numbing. It's supposed to numb your mouth entirely. Overall, all of these dishes were amazing and so good. If you want to try some of these out, then go and visit Convoy Street, Kearney Mesa, Spicy House, San Diego. So you can see what this is. Um, the flavors are so good. Remember to follow me. Bye! So fun media.